Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Samantha, the Kansas City Stitcher here. Boss Tube 28. This is my channel all about cross stitch. And I don't know why I never say that in any of my other videos, but I'm gonna do it today. I have an Instagram, I've never really said that. It's the same thing, my, the same username is on YouTube. It's Kansas City Stitcher dash Samantha or underscore Samantha, I'm not sure. Today is July 1st, Monday. I have now filmed this three times. I had my puppy, Aylin, in the beginning of last video, but then I was like 20 minutes into the video already and I could still hear her whining for me putting her up. So I've decided that I won't be getting her out to show her to you guys and in the beginning. Maybe I'll... I might do it at the end, I don't know. But I'm at almost 200 subscribers, so thank you. I was at 70 two weeks ago when I filmed. So I'm going to talk about a couple of people real fast. Steph at Total Stitch Show, her and I started something together. I love her. She loves Star Wars. I love Star Wars. I don't have as many project Star Wars project as pro projects as she does, but that's fine. Actually, I have two, and she's got way more than two. <laughs> but we started something together. We're going to start. Well, she already started it, but I'm going to start something else with her that she 100% encouraged. <laughs> I have seen this pattern, and and I've like been like, oh, that's cute. I want to, I kind of want to stitch that. But then I was like, nope, I'm not going to do it. And then we started talking on Instagram and yep, I sure am going to do it. <clears throat> Show and tell stitcher, Allie. I couldn't remember her name. I'm really sorry. I'm 100% terrible at names. Really bad. I normally write everybody down that I want to talk about, and then today I did it. I was going to while I was at work today, and I was too busy with my new start, so, in work. I mean, I was at work. Allie at Show and Tell Stitcher, I love her. She does a lot of Dimensions kits, and they're all fantastic. She just filmed a whip parade, or like a kind of a whip parade but not really it's a more of her what she's been working on in the last eight months because she hadn't filmed a false tube in eight months so and I don't think she's that far away from me she's in Illinois somewhere so I mean Illinois is not that far not really I'm gonna go ahead and just get started I'm gonna start with my new starts I started this is number 16 of my 30 for 30 this is the shipjack sampler and I started this with oh I'm gonna I'm gonna mess up your name is it Sandra I think I started this on be stitch me 20 count gorgeous grape and look at this hilariousness that I did I posted this on Instagram too because I think it's funny I put this little tiny hoop in my little tiny Amazon bag and then I got to work today and I put it in the hoop after I did my 200 stitches on Bernadette. I put this in the hoop and I was like, my fabric is definitely in the way. Do you know what I have at the gas station that I work at? Rubber bands. So I put rubber bands on it. This looks so good. I just started in the middle, which is... right like right here like right here but yeah and I'm just gonna keep keep on working on it in this tiny little hoop <laughs> these white stitches look terrible this is a Mosel silk but up close they look horrible you can't tell on camera I don't think everybody said that 
you don't like your white stitches, try silk. I don't know if it's just the Mo sale or I don't know. But it is not. I don't think it looks any better. White stitches are just white stitches. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. Next with Rebecca over at Slightly Bananas. She just is she's on Instagram. We started our next one on the 21st. I have still not finished it. I don't think she has either. I haven't seen her posted it, so it's Liberty's Lights by the Frosted Pumpkin. The floss on that shipjack sampler was just floss I had in stash. All of these have also been floss I've had in stash. However, I did a little conversion. This, the name of this pattern is Liberty's Lights, but I don't, I don't know, Star Stripes and Liberty's Lights doesn't sound right to me. Star Stripes and Liberty Lights does though. So I changed it to just say Liberty. I got rid of the S. And that's where I am. This is on a 32 count, I don't, some gray linen. I think this is his Weigart linen. I could be wrong though. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to work on this tomorrow. I'm not going to do anything else with it till tomorrow because I don't, I don't know. The patriotic stitching really just isn't my kind of stitching. Last night I had something pulled out and I was working on something else. And I was just, I was really not feeling it. So I was like, I'm going to start something in my kit bin. I just randomly grabbed something. I pulled it out. And it was my Hello from Les Matthews Bittersweet Village. I also just grabbed floss from Stash. It's all DMC, but it's not the call for DMC. I actually kind of brightened this up all, quite a bit. And I'm just doing this on a 14 count white Ada. I wanted a new start because I was bored with the other thing, but then I did like 30 stitches and I went to bed. So that's where I am. I got a new phone case today and I don't know if it's me or if this looks weird. I don't know. Next over... Staff at Total Stitch Show and I wanted to start Sweet Dreams by the Witchy Stitcher. I am also not using the call for <laughs> on this gloss, except the 310. But I started this on, I think this is the 28 count linen dyed by me. I just use tie dye dye. I don't know that it mattered, but with my Wicked Cat Stitch Needle Minder, couldn't be any more perfect than that, right? And I'm doing this two over one. I'm going to see what the other colors look like, but I didn't like the coverage of the black with one, so I changed it to two. I worked on this a little bit yesterday and I put it away because I wasn't feeling it and I got like this tiny little bit done like right here but now I'm looking at this today going I think I want to stitch on that it's kind of been a nice palette cleanser next I started this for my round robin that I'm doing with duck spins Jessica K is on Instagram and Serena I think that's how you say your name I I'm totally blanking anyway I I originally I started Hannah Mandala because I was gonna do that for this round robin in circles but I have since changed my mind so I just added this to my ever-growing whip pile but I'm doing this with a Mosel silk called Sandy Bell. Is that right? Yeah, Sandy Bell. And I'm doing this on a 20 count Be Stitch Me. I don't remember the name of this fabric. 
I was doing, oh, I'm sorry, my nose is itching. I was doing a, um, the Pixel Pixie 2023 sal on this. I don't remember the name of it, but I, I cut it off. I didn't even finish part one. I cut it off and I'm going to cut it again because I can fit probably one or two quirky Quakers on this and I'm going to because I'm not wasting fabric. And I have discovered that unless it's a witchy stitcher sal or a Lola Crow sal, I won't be doing any more mystery sals because I don't like them. I like them in the beginning and I don't know if it's just because I'm like, ooh, another sal or what. But then clue th two, three, four come out and I'm like, ugh, I really don't like this. So I've learned that I won't be doing that anymore. I need to get this off, off my nerd tube because I want that back. Next I started with one of my round robin girls. Nope, my, one of my round robin girls gave me this pattern. It's the Hollow Eve Haunting by Autumn Lane Stitchery. I started this on a 36 count. I don't remember the name of this fabric. It came in the box I bought from Shannon Bromo. And that's where I got to. I'm using a black Mosel silk with this instead of DMC 310. And honestly, I ordered another hank of this whenever she did her stuff last week on Saturday. Most most sale does post their gloss on Saturdays to buy and she sends you an invoice or they they send you an invoice. Uh, actually, I think I probably got it today. I don't know. I haven't looked, so I haven't paid it yet, but I only bought a hank, and now I kind of feel bad because a hank is traveling alone, but I don't need anything else. I made a pretty big pirate robin floss order that you'll see next video, so I did not need more, so, but I did not need more floss. Did not. That's where I'm at. My husband was in the hospital Friday night because he's got food poisoning, very bad food poisoning. And I I was working on this while we were there. And in case you didn't know, men, I call my husband a man child because, well, to be fair, he's had, he's been sick, I mean, not fun food poisoning for a week now. So yes, I understand it sucks, but he cannot function. He can't do anything with it. And finally, Friday, I was like, all right, I've had enough of this. You're going to the emergency room. That was a waste of time and a waste of money because we still don't know why, what's wrong with him. They didn't give him anything. They didn't, I mean, they didn't help. But I know that it's food poisoning. And even they said it was food poisoning. Next was my number 15 start for my 30 for 30. And Al Forest Pomegranate Quaker. I love this. I started this on a, I'm pretty sure this was a Jody fabric. I know that I got it. I'm pretty sure I got it from Jody. And I'm using Sulky Floss. This is a 14 count. Ada. And I will say, after I'm done with this bit that I'm over here on, I'm going to work my way over. Because I counted it and I thought I was going to have enough fabric. But looking at this, I'm not so sure that I'm going to have enough fabric. 
and I don't want to get super far on this and then be like, nope, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit and have to start it all over again. That would really, that would really be terrible. Next, I started Dancing Witches. I started this as a sow. It is no longer a sow. The sow has been taken down. Some controversies happened. And I don't know if it's true or not. And I'm not one to make that decision. So I'm not going to. I'm also not going to have an opinion about it. So I, however, already started it. Already did everything with it. I'm still going to stitch it. Because I already started. By the time all this happened, I had already started and I wasn't going to stop and rip out the 200 plus stitches that I've done. Actually, I've done like 300 stitches or something. So that's where I am. This is on a 28 count, just a natural linen with a Mosail silk. And I started in the middle. And Dancing Witches, so it has to have the Wicked Witch on there, right? This looks good. I know that Shay over at... The Salty Stitcher... She, in her most recent videos, was talking about starting this. I don't know if she's still going to or not. And the Shaky Stitcher also started this. And I know that Cat over at Wicked Cat has, has it started. And she's way further along with it than I am. But looking at that right now makes me want to pull that out too because I love it. I started it kind of for the crow stitcher and Beck stitches everything's their salve. The Halloween is a lifestyle salve. I'll talk about that one in a minute. I pulled out my Pink Sparrow sampler by Brenda Gervais. This is not a very big sampler, but I was watching Jordan the Tattooed Stitcher one day last week and she had hers, she pulled out hers and I was like, oh, that makes me want to work on mine. I'm stitching this on a 32 count cold foam by Be Stitch Me and I work all in this. Like, I got all of this middle part of this flower in. And every time I pull this out, it looks so good. But I really wasn't in the stitching mood the day that I worked on this, so I did all of this and then I was like, I gotta put that away. I gotta put it away before I I burn myself out and then I don't want to stitch at all. And I have it in this little bow 88 bag. It's my favorite bag. I love it. Next, I finished my word. I finished my word on my crossword by a long dog. I was doing this partly for long uh, June dog. And because, well, I'm trying to finish all the words this year. I'm doing this on 18 Count Atypical by Mystic Fabrics. My allergies are really bad, you guys. It's been raining all day today, and it rained. I don't know. I finished the word family. There's the whole thing. I only have six words left to go. And I can leave this out because I'm going to work on the word faith next, which will go right here. 
This looks so good. I want to finish this next year, and I'm going to. I am 100% going to finish this next year. I have it already planned out for how I'm going to do that next year. I'm going to stitch next year how the words are in rows like this. I'm going to stitch all the rows a month. And I think that I counted it and there was 10 rows, so it should be 10 months. So I should have this done by October. I almost said September, but September is definitely the ninth month of the year. October is the 10th. Aylin. I'm so sorry. I got some haul. Oh, nope. I have one more whip. Just kidding. Bernadette. My 200 stitches a day. Part three just came out. Friday, Saturday. I think it was Saturday. I had all of the 310 done until that part came out. And then I had, after I was done with 310, I had 33, nope, 814. I had an 814 done. Now it's not done because part three has come out. And then I decided that I still don't have a page finish. And in order to at least get all of the patterns that came in this out, I need to have four pages done. So I came back up here and I've been working in here. And then I got to the color that I'm using now, which 3370, I think, I don't know. I think that's right. Is like all in here. And well, I might, I did it up here and then I was like, all right, I'll just continue on down here because I have to finish this page because it's one, two, three, four. Because you have to finish four full pages, not partial pages. Because page four over here, technically, is a partial page. So, I'm gonna finish this page slowly because I've been filling in down here too. And once I'm done with this color down here, I'll go back up and pick a color from up here. I know that was a weird cutoff. My husband walked in, so. What I was saying, I need to fit and finish four pages on Bernadette in order to get the other charts from the sow. And if I finish the whole thing, I get two free patterns plus the four charts. And I want the free patterns. <laughs> I've got plenty in my hate wish list that I want. Anyway, on to my on to my haul, because. I still have a lot to talk about, I feel like, because I have a big giant stack over here of plans. <laughs> like, I'm not going to be back in two weeks showing you some of these same things and plans. I'm in Trish's at 3 Owl Threads, her nest egg for Classic Color Works, and I got my floss in. So... Honestly, I love these. And I stopped being in her nest egg for a little bit. And then I came back. And I think that I'm back in right where I was before. Because I definitely have some of these already. Yeah, that looks good. This is... Paul Blanc. Poblano pepper? That sounded not right. <laughs> Rain shower. I love this one. Ripple. This is a good one. River rocks. I'm trying to have the complete collection here. Roasted chestnut. If you want to be in the 3 Owl Threads nest egg, she has several different floss brands in it. I know there's Threadworks, Classic Color Works. Gentle Art, I think she does Dinky Dye, Silky, you can sign up on her for it. She has a Google link in her, on her Etsy, or her, her Etsy, what? Her Instagram, Rod and Reel, 
root beer float, rosy gold, ruby slippers. I think this is like the third skein of this I have. And I might see how this looks on a, a piece of fabric. Sassy brass. Well, we're in the S's now. I'm just going to set those right back up here because I don't want to lose those. I ordered some patterns. I'm going to show this one last. I was on the Ink Circles website. Bad idea, but... And I saw this blueprint of the Rainbow City. Um, yes. I ordered a hank of rainbow silk from Mo Sale. And... It should be here sometime this week. I don't know. It'll, it'll be shown on my next video, but, and I think I might use it where the rainbows, it, rain, rainbow city part is. That is so good though. I'm starting this on Sunday. This is my Steph and total stitch show. She started hers already, but I'm going to start mine on Sunday, Sunday, July 7th because that's the first day of Shark Week. And it's, um, hello, Christmas in July. Shark Week, Christmas, means you need to start a shark mess pattern, right? And Amity over at, Boomer, over at Hathaway Stitchers, she is good at her patterns. Um, this is one that I'll have to insert a picture probably right in here. Angler fish. I am gonna grab something that I have planned. August 1st, I was gonna do a farewell to Summer Sal. And it's a stitch on mermaids. Stitch on any mermaid. And I was on Etsy looking at mermaids and Mama Witch X Stitch, Mama Witch Cross Stitch, Mama Witch Cross Stitch on Etsy has two mermaids. One of them, the head, she's like holding the head. And this one, she's holding anglerfish. I bought the anglerfish one. And I'm going to start it in August. And hopefully finish it. And because it's not that big. It's not that big. And then I'm also going to pull out my Mermaid of Tabithia. Bella Filipina and work on her. This is on a Fiberlicious. I can never remember. I think it goes this way. Is that right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it goes this way. I'm stitching this on a 32 count. Fiberlicious. I don't know where... Oh, Mermaid Mule. That's a good place for it. In with all the floss. And then my bag of beads because it has 5 billion beads in it. And this project bag really has nothing to do with the seed. But I don't remember where I got this either. Those are the two mermaids that I have. And then... <sighs> my round robin for my ink circles. <sighs> well suited. You guys, I saw this on the ink circles website. I've never seen this ink, this, this one before. This is fantastic. And I believe that it's the same size. Yeah, it's 115 by 115. So, so I'm just going to go. And I'm going to stitch a corner and everybody else is going to stitch a corner. This looks so good, though. I just bought this on the Ink Circles website. I hope it's okay that I'm going to send the PDF pattern in the mail. To everybody but 
I couldn't find a physical copy of this. I don't know if I just wasn't really looking or what, but going on her website, I had never even seen this pattern. So you know I bought that. This Friday, July 5th, one of my girls over at my round robin are gonna start All Hallows Eve. I was supposed to start this last Friday and I grabbed the wrong pattern. It happens. I'm stitching this on a 32 count. I don't know the name of this fabric. It came in a fangirl fibers box, I'm pretty sure. So it's probably a fiber on a whim. I don't know, but I'm gonna sti stitch it on this. And I just grabbed random floss I had in stash to kit this up. And yes, this looks like a hot mess. I know that this is a hand by Rolanda floss because it was in a Halloween thing, but the rest of this. I hope this yellow shows up on this fabric now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, it should be alright. It should be fine. I just have this in a bag that I got at Joann's. <laughs> oh, I forgot to... My shark pattern is going on my Be Stitch Me fabric of the month that I got in the mail, which is Aquarius. I am getting the 22 count Ada. And I think it'll only take up like half of it, so I'll still have a whole half left. Because it's a lot longer than it is wide. And I'm just going to use DMC $37.99. And Stephanie over at Cross Stitch the Globe, her birthday sale is coming up in 15 days because her birthday is in 15 days on the 16th. She's doing a Hello B Day sale where you stitch on any Hello from Liz Matthews. I think on her birthday, I'm going to start gather here. And I'm doing this on a 32 count be stitch me, or nope, 28 count cardinal. And I grabbed this. This is the third floss I've grabbed, so we'll see if I continue on with this one. Hand dyed by Rolanda floss. And yes, this does look like a hot mess, but it'll be alright. I kind of want. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to see how many skeins of ruby slippers I have. Because that would look so good. I really wanted a tone on tone type situation. And I think I think I might have just found it. I was going to stitch with Pandemic by Forbidden Fiber Co. on here. But I didn't want to order the floss and have to wait for it. So I'm definitely going to have to see how many skeins of ruby slipper I have because this is a big girl this is a big girl 283 by 122 that's a lot and this is 28 count so it's going to be 2 over 2 I don't if I have 3 skeins is, oh it's only 5,509 stitches uh hello Hello from Liz Matthews tells you the stitch count on the back on how many stitches it is. Three skeins should be enough, right? If I have three skeins, I think I do though. I don't know. I'm putting this off to the side because now I want to look. Because that might be it. That was also part of my 30 for 30. This one is also part of my 30 for 30 and it's the... Moonlight Sampler by the Blue Flower. This is a restart for me. 
because I was not liking it on the fabric that I was using. So instead I'm going to do it on 40 count Princess by Be Stitch Me. And now that I'm looking at this, I think I might pull out that flower power, flower, flower patch that I showed last video and see if my flosses will work on that instead of doing it on this. But we'll see. I did kind of start it because I wanted to make sure it would be all right because it's a 40 count and I've never stitched on 40 count before. So I was like, can I see that? But I can see it just fine. I put that in a while ago. But that is not a start. Christmas in July. And I think I might pull one of these out today because it's July 1st, so Christmas in July has already started. I'm going to work on my Holiday Quaker by Lilo Studio. And what I told somebody in my last video, because they commented about it, that I could just tea dye over it or coffee dye over it. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to buy a tie dye pen, or not a tie dye, a Tide pen, and see if that would help me. If not, honestly, I'm just going to live with it because I've already stitched this much and I do not want to start this over again. This is on 18 count Iris by Be Stitch Me. Or Eris by Be Stitch Me. I think I might work on this a little bit today. I want to get at least one Quaker done for Christmas in July. This, I want to get this one done for Christmas in July. I want to, I already put it on a hoop and everything. It's the first house in the series, Santa's House. by Cottage Garden Samplings. And this is on 28 Count Glacier by, Be or by Pitches Plus. You can barely see the white, but I can see the white just fine in person. I'm really not a Christmas stitcher, but now that I'm looking at this, I kinda wanna work on it too. And I already have it in the hoop. I also have pulled out my other Liz Matthews for Stephanie's birthday. It's my Quaker Garden. Quaker Gardens. And I'm doing this on a 20 count Bee Stitch Me. Is it cinnamon? Cinnamon. I can't believe I got that right. And this is with a and I have a Rolanda floss that I'm working on. And I have one page done. And I think I just want to get the alphabet done. This top alphabet. This month. Uh, why do I have a Michael Myers needle minder on a spring pattern? <laughs> That's fine. And watching... Camma Stitcher, Marjorie Maid, and all of them makes me want to work on this. And that's, I think, all I have. Oh, my, my giveaway. I finished this pattern this year. And I want somebody else to have it. I don't think that I marked down my changes to it, but I'm going to give away a perfect match. So the rules are you have to be 18 so you can give me your address. Please don't say giveaway or anything like that, winner, anything like that. I don't want any bots. Oh, that's the pattern, sorry. I might even see if I have some of the called for floss I said. I don't know. If so, if you want to say love in your comment, and I'll pick a winner from that, and I'll send it to you. Well, 
I'll tell you the winner in two weeks whenever I make my next video. That's all I have. Thanks everybody for coming. Don't forget, if you like this, please subscribe. Bye.